Uh, tough game for VCU tonight. Uh, certainly a great game for St. Bonaventure. Uh, credit to them. They, they played extremely well, you know, throughout the game. Got off to a good start and just kind of kept it going. Uh, you know, we were able to um, withstand any run, you know, that we were, we were, you know, trying to get back into the game. They were able to push that, push that away and stop it uh, with timely shots, with, uh, you know, drives to the basket where they were able to get fouled and get to the free throw line. Uh, they were just able to, to do what you do when, you, when you're trying to hold a team off. And, um, you know, I thought they played exceptionally well on both sides of the ball. Um, you know, they, uh, you know, they, they were able to, you know, get clean looks, you know, um, you know, for the majority of the game, uh, that, you know, you, you can't live with if you're us, you know, as a defensive, you know, team, um, you know, for, for them to go 12 for 22, uh, you know, from three, you know, obviously you're not gonna win many basketball games when you're giving up that. You know, number and then obviously that percentage, you know, of, of, of shots going in from deep. And, and it was one of those nights where some weird things happened early in the game and uh, didn't necessarily go our way. And our guys kept fighting and, you know, and, and, and got it somewhat tight until that last play, you know, of the half. And, um, you know, that was kind of a, a backbreaker, but we knew we had the ball coming out of halftime. And, and uh, so we were. You know, the message was, hey, some weird things happen and we got to, you know, we have to make a miss. You know, right now we're not making a miss. And, um, you know, we got to figure out how to do that. And then we've got to play better on offense. We had five assists and no turnovers, you know, in the first half. We were just sloppy. And they had something to do with that. They were pressuring us up the court and bothering us more than we were bothering them. And, uh, you know, we tried to flip that around in the second half. And, and we did it at times. But... It wasn't consistent enough to be able to beat a good team. And, um, you know, again, they were at the free throw line, you know, 27 times and uh, shot a good percentage there. And, and um, you know, uh, <coughs> disappointing, you know, for us, but all is not lost. You know, we, we certainly can learn from this game and, and, you know, understand that we have to play much better in order to, to be a good team, um, a competitive team in this conference. How did you feel like those shooters were getting freed up outside? Did you think it was defensive lapses on y'all's part or just good scheme on their part? Yeah, I mean, we, we talk a lot about, you know, personnel, right? And, and you know, what players do. Uh, you know, I feel like our staff, and I'm not talking about me, I'm talking about our staff puts a lot of time in, you know, to, um, you know, uh, making sure that our guys understand what each player they're matched up with is, is good at. Right, and uh, tonight we didn't do a good job. Obviously, we didn't do a good enough job of, of you know imparting that on our on our players. And um, you know, uh, to watch guys stand still and shoot threes, like I'm not okay with that. And our players can't be okay with that. They're gonna see it, you know, when we watch film. And um, <coughs> you know, it's not okay. Like. We have to make them go. When we did make them go to, to, to their second shots or their the second part of their offense, we got shot clock violations. All right. When we didn't, they banged threes on us. And, you know, it's not okay. Concerns about 50-50 balls. They were getting to a lot of 50-50 balls in the game. Concern about not being able to make those type of plays. Yeah, they're tough with that. Like, I mean, like, they're, they're very good. They're one of the top, you know, rebounding teams in the country. I think they're 40-something right now in offensive rebounding. So, like, that certainly was a focus going into the game. One of the main focuses was trying to make sure that we, you know, controlled our glass and came up with balls. Some were getting tipped, and then all of a sudden it goes to somebody else, and then it's a, you know, it's, a, it's anybody's ball, you know, at that point. And... You know, we didn't we didn't dive in and come up with enough of them, you know, to turn the game in in our favor. Um, and I don't think it was a lack of effort thing. It was just one of those deals where it's you know they're pretty good at it, and you know it's an area that we haven't been stellar at you know so far this season in terms of defensive rebounding. I think this this team has a chance to be you know a really good rebounding team, but you know when we play smaller, it gets harder. And, you know, we certainly played smaller tonight, you know, than we played, 
you know, in other games. And, you know, it's just something we got to continue to look at. Venning is obviously a really tough matchup physically. Take us inside yeah. that battle with Toby and Firm and were you trying to feel through matchups about what the toughest yeah, one to give I mean, him Firm, was? Yeah, I I thought, did a nice, nice job. You know, he battled him and, then, uh, you know, I thought, you know, got him off balance a couple of times, but he's a really good player. I mean, he's, you know, when he's able to rest and then come back into the game and, and uh, go at you again, um, you know, I was disappointed for Toby. Like, Toby was better than he played today. Like, we, we had multiple guys, you know, on our roster that played below their level, you know, today. That happens from time to time. You know, it is what it is. Um, and uh, Firm certainly deserved to be out on the court, you know, today. And, and Toby's going to have his chance as well. And, and uh, you know, he'll play better. He's been really good for us. And so tonight wasn't necessarily his night. Did you think Benning shot at the end of the first half? was a big momentum swing to their side. I mean, we made a three right out of halftime. No. So, I mean, I, like, we, I had to go in there and talk to the team really quickly and just say, hey, I know that went in. That's part of it. They've had some plays go their way. We've got to make it go our way. And we've got to execute out of halftime. And the guys certainly did that, but we didn't do it on the other end, right? Like, scoring 78, you know, is enough, you know, for us to win a basketball game, right? But when you give up what we gave up, you know, like you're not going to beat anybody doing that. It's like we've got to defend at a high level, and this team's done that, you know, over the course of the season, and, you know, more than it hasn't. Um, but tonight we were really bad on defense. And so we've got to go back and look at the film and figure out why. The first thing is personnel. It's like knowing who you're guarding and knowing what they do. And, you know, we were not as attentive as we needed to be tonight. We didn't hit our targets and make them go to their second second thing. Coach, as you guys were trying to come back in the second half, it looked like you were getting frustrated with the guys not pressing after made baskets. Uh, frustrated? I mean, yeah, we want to get up there and press, right? You're down, and so, like, we don't need to be back. Like, we need to be up and, and on them right away. And, you know, clearly uh, we weren't at times. And so the guys do stuff all the time that I get irritated with right as a coach and so i'm sure it was the same on the other end you know as well it's all part of it but that's coaching right you gotta you gotta help them get better and so we certainly will do that and when we did get up there you know we caused some problems you know for them they had harder starts to their offense and there were some some positivity there and so but it takes effort it takes major effort to do that and you know when you're uh, I'm not saying they were tired out there, but like some of the guys had been out there. I rested Sean and Max for a significant amount of time and uh, got them back out there. Zeb didn't get as much, you know, of a rest, you know, in that second half. Um, but, you know, it's certainly something that this team can can do. And, you know, we've, we've got we've to get better at it, you know. We started out in our preseason doing it a lot. And... Uh, when the numbers dwindled down, right, we had to change a little bit. And so now we've got more numbers. Right? We've, we're trying to get back to it. Right? But when you're in game season, like when you're in your season, in the middle of your season, you don't have as much practice time right, to be able to do that. And, um, and so you know, we've tried to, tried to you know, sprinkle it in there as much as we can. Uh, but you know, ultimately, you know, the game is going to be won in the trenches, right, on the other side of the court, in the half court. Can we get stops, you know, in the half court? And today, you know, that was the biggest reason why, you know, we didn't win the game. You know, we didn't, we didn't get the stops when we needed them, and um, we had forced them into to tough situations. Kawani hit the three early in that second half um, to get him up to 13 points, ended up three of three from outside. Then his minutes were pretty limited down the stretch. Was that a matchup thing, keeping him no, off the floor? No, he gave up two threes right away. He made a three, but then he gave up two threes, so I took him out. And so we can't do that. Like, you know, he's got he's to, you know, pay attention to what he's doing. And he knows that. He knows why he came out. And, um, you know, it is what it is. He's, he's not the only one, you know, at times that gets taken out of a game. We have – other guys that can play now. And, um, and so, you know, nobody's immune to that. You have to do your job while you're in there. And, um, you know, it is what it is. Anything else? How'd they limit Max 
I think that ties the season low for him just seven points and didn't have a three what they do defensively to, to try and yeah I mean I think they pressured him early in the game right and they sent bodies to him but um, you know uh, I don't know I have to go back and look at it I don't think it was anything you know earth shattering you know I think they just they tried to pressure him they tried to go after his ball when he was handling it and um, you know he had some clean looks that didn't go down um, you know the other night they did you know, at a pretty good clip. And so, again, it goes back to, you know, uh, several guys, you know, most guys played under their level, you know, tonight. And you have to give St. Bonaventure credit for making us do that. And, you know, it's just, it's part of basketball. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Coach. Thank you so much, Ryan. Yeah.